Good morning. I'm here to show you how to easily change the hard drive of a Dell Mini 10. One of the difficulties I found online was that there was no information online of how to do this. Uh, with the Mini 10s, they have the little hatch in the back, but in the Mini 9s, they don't really have an actual hatch where you can replace the memory or the hard drive or even get to any of the internal componentry. Uh, the, this is the uh, new Mini 10, Dell Mini 10, and uh, it comes standard with a 160 gig, 5400 RPM hard drive. <clears throat> That's actually pretty quiet, uh, but one of the problems is it does use a lot of energy and does make a little bit of noise. It's relatively quiet. So I'm going to show you how to easily take and uh, put a new hard drive in. I have a new uh, 64 gig um, Cavalry Pelican uh, solid state drive. Um, this was around $200. I used Norton's Ghost 14.0 and uh, copied the drive um, using, it has a USB port. So uh, I've got all my software backed up, all the programs, all the operating system. Literally, I should not have to uh, put any information uh, back onto the hard drive. Um, it should be good to go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the battery out and you'll see three screws right here. This holds the keyboard in. So we're going to take these three screws out Set these three screws aside. I'm going to carefully flip the computer over. Open up the screen, and you'll find the keyboard it pops out from the back. And we're just going to lean this forward very carefully. Now you can actually uh, disconnect the keyboard here, but I've just found to just leave it alone. Here's your hard drive. Here's your uh, WAN card. And I'm not sure what this is. Your processor's up underneath right here. You cannot upgrade the RAM from the best of my to the best of my knowledge. You cannot upgrade the RAM because it's actually soldered in rather than a uh, a chip um, that you can just pull out. There's one screw right here that's holding the, the bracket for the hard drive. Take that screw, set it aside. There's a little tab right here. You're going to slide the old hard drive out and um, on some new ones if you want to put in a new uh, spinning hard drive you can take this these four screws out and put your new one into this bracket and put it back in um, with the some of the newer SSDs they have they have more thickness and um, the screw size is different sometimes and so it doesn't allow you to change that out so uh, literally we're going to uh, put the, the drive back in, snap it back in, and that's it. There is absolutely no wiggle. Um, it's not going anywhere. I'm going to put the keyboard back down, carefully shut the top. We're going to flip it back over. We're going to put our three screws back in. basically bolting the keyboard back down. Put the battery back in, got everything closed up, and we should be good to go here. Let's see. It's booting up. Sorry, the picture is upside down. I haven't actually tested this. I'm not timing this. I guess that would have been a good thing to do. Well, it appears to be booting up. And okay, all right.
Alright, well we're up and running. Thanks for watching.